Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm not outside my door today, but I'm inside my door to report on another organism that you might find in your house this fall. Last year, I talked about the Asian lady beetles that seem to be attracted to houses in mass and come indoors to overwinter. I also talked about the stink bugs that were also massing outside many people's homes and trying to get inside for the same reason, to find a place to overwinter. Well, here's a third one that I have in my house that has turned up this fall. And I figure if it's in my house, it might be in your house too. And the name of the bug is the leaf-footed bug. And I'll tell you whether well, you got to worry about this one or not, a little bit about its biology and what it's trying to do. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. When I saw my first leaf-footed bug indoors this fall, it was flying and buzzing along the window on the sunny side, and it sounded just like a wasp. Until it stopped, I realized it wasn't a wasp. And when I took a look, closer look at it, I saw it was in fact a leaf-footed bug. These bugs can be mistaken for other bugs. These are all true hemipterans that have piercing beaks and undergo incomplete metamorphosis. They can be confused for assassin bugs, like this wheel bug. They can be confused with bed bugs, like this one. And they also can be confused with stink bugs. Now, of these three bugs, this one will cause you the least amount of problems. It doesn't bite, it doesn't sting, and it doesn't usually occur in the numbers that the stink bugs occurred in. Like stink bugs, leaf beetles aren't going to harm you or anything in your house. They're simply looking for a place to hibernate and overwinter. Adults and larvae of leaf beetles both feed on plant stems, leaves, and fruit by inserting their proboscis in them and sucking out the plant juices. Leaf bugs seem to be increasing in populations lately and becoming a problem in people's gardens in certain places, but not universally like the stink bugs. These leaf bugs are trying to get into your house for the same reasons the Asian lady beetles and the stink bugs are trying to do they're looking for a place to overwinter. So if you see one or two in your house, it's nothing to worry about. But how do you know for sure what it is? If you look very closely at its rear legs, it has the telltale identifier. And they're leaf-like legs. You'll see that on the bottom, they're much wider than any other part of the legs. And this is the distinctive feature of this organism. If you see one in your house, it's not to worry. You can brush them into a jar and let them go outside or make your own personal decisions about what you do with bugs inside your house. Now, I do need to warn you that when squashed, they will release a foul-smelling odor, just like the stink bugs. But fortunately, it would be very rare for you to find these in significant numbers in your house. If you haven't seen my invasive ladybug videos or invasive stink bug videos, you might want to check them out and learn more about their biology and how you can control them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and it may have calmed your fears about what is this leaf bug doing in your house. Remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe. Give me a like and check out my playlists. I cover everything from insects to lizards, amphibians to snakes, fungi, trees, and wildflowers. You might find something you're interested in learning about. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.